you know, in charge of staging, so to speak. So that, that a master counselor in our group was a leader, and there were three different areas to lead in, and I was the choreographer, I guess you could say. What changes came over you when you became a master counselor? The changes that came over me was, uh, I guess, the access to drugs and things that I had in that position was really my downfall because I was really heavily involved in drugs. And let me say that everybody that's involved in the occult doesn't do drugs. As a matter of fact, a lot of people who are in the occult don't do drugs. But I was very heavily involved with drugs and becoming, um, becoming a, uh, a leader and becoming uh, 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 an object of respect and almost worship for some people. Because I got an <clears throat> old three-inch scar on my wrist here where my friends used to cut my arm open on the four seasons, in the four seasons of the year, in the four high holidays of the year, and bleed my blood into a cup and mix it with wine and certain spices, including, you know, henbane and stuff like that, to drink as a communion drink on high holidays. And so uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I had that kind of respect. I had that kind of adulation, almost worship. And uh, because of it, I had access to a lot of dope, a lot of booze, a lot of chicks, you know, and stuff like that. And I've never been, you know, I've never been one that's been very, very strong in the flesh. And it wasn't until Jesus came into my life that I really got any kind of victories in that way. And uh, I just began to overindulge. I mean, you know, overindulge in drugs, overindulge in sex, overindulge in everything. And that really was what led to my downfall, because I got so screwed up behind all of that that even the devil didn't want to hang around with me. You know, and when you've been so bad, the devil didn't want to hang around with you. You've been pretty bad, you know, because, I mean, the guy think he was afraid I'd ruin his reputation. So... You know, that's, that's, that's the changes that came over me. The, cha the, the chance to, to have that much power over other people was uh, narcotic to me and it ruined me, just blew me away. Which, in a, in a way, I'm glad, because if it hadn't been for all that happening, I don't think I would have ever turned to the Lord, and I'm certainly glad that I did that. Of course, I've been a Christian um, 18 years now, you know, a lot longer than I ever was a Satanist, and I really, you know, appreciate the Lord for, you know, sticking with me all that time and, you know, not, 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 not be in there when I called on them. That, that was the important thing. Cause Could you explain the significance of Halloween for us? Halloween is probably the most, uh, the most sacred of all of the, the witchcraft holidays, uh, especially in, in regards to witchcraft that's practiced in this country. The, the, witch pra the witchcraft that's practiced in this country uh, the, and the Satanism to go back to the Middle Ages and before. Uh, witchcraft goes clear back to the time of the Druids in England, and, and uh, Satanism goes back to the practice of Satanism basically as it was practiced in the Middle Ages. Uh, and the witchcraft holiday and the Satanic holiday are, are the same in the, uh, in the Halloween area. This is a time, for, uh, a time called Samhain, or All Hallows, and it's a time to worship the God of the dead. And it's the time when graves are opened up and the spirits of the dead are allowed to rise from the graves and visit people who are on earth. It's the time when, when witches and warlocks uh, and wizards could draw power from these dead people who were led out at this time of the year. This is the belief of the Druids and the Celtic peoples. And it's become a, a holiday now for people who are involved in the occult to reach to the power of Satan, to reach to the power of death to the reach of the power of dying and to gain strength from that because that's why they practice uh, human sacrifices because when uh, supposedly when someone is killed there's a lot of cosmic energy released when somebody's killed and if it's done ritualistic then those who do it can soak up that energy you know from being there and, and being part of it they soak up that energy and that makes them more powerful and that's why that's why uh, sacrifice is done, that and to also give a gift to Satan. I mean, that's their thinking. I don't think that way, of course. But when you're dealing with these people, you've got to think the way they think because they're going to react the way they think, not the way you think. So that's, you know, that's the thinking, and that's some of where Halloween comes from. Um, I don't believe that Christians should be involved in Halloween. I know that there are a lot of other holidays that we have, too, that have pagan roots, but... You know, I figure if you can save a person, you can save a holiday, too. So I'm not really worried so much about that, like Christmas and Easter and stuff. But when it comes to Halloween, Halloween is the only holiday that has saved all of its old-time flavor. The jack-o'-lanterns go clear back to a time when uh, uh, warlocks and wizards and witches would, would roam around uh, town on the night of Halloween and carry these jack-o'-lanterns 
and these were to represent the faces of demons and the, and the power that they had and if people didn't put things out on the doorstep to appease these people then you know their wells could be poisoned their animals could be killed and that's where trick-or-treat comes from you either treat the witches and wizards and what have you or you get tricked which means that, you know you could you, your whole livelihood could be wiped out your house could be burned your barn, barn could be torched and so that's where that custom comes from and then and the and the halloween the mask is supposedly the face of a demon smiling at the misfortune of a family who's been tapped by one of these people so see it's all it all goes back to that same old thing and it changed a bit the black cats the familiar spirits the the cats being considered very powerful animals being connected with lucifer and and being able to be possessed by spirits very easily and used as familiars by witches i mean the whole deal so you know it's all there and it's all still there and that's why i don't think that christians should be involved in halloween i think that they should if they want to give their kids candy they can just have a party at church and let everybody dress up like bible characters and call it a fall party and dunk for apples and have a good time but you know, have to run around dressed up like witches and devils and frankensteins and stuff it's just not good and besides that it's scary and besides that i mean it's unsafe to let kids trick-or-treat not anymore i mean it, maybe it used to not be but nowadays it seems like every cuckoo out there takes halloween as an excuse to stick a razor blade in an apple or a, a poison in a tylenol you know i mean so the whole thing is just beyond it's beyond me how parents can allow their children to take part in that kind of stuff because it's very dangerous that was mike warnicky an ex-witch or warlock giving us inside information on witchcraft. Depending upon where they live, witches can turn their black art into a thriving business. Lori Cabot, for example, whom we mentioned earlier, belongs to the Salem Chamber of Commerce and sells some hardcore witchcraft and Satanism books and objects in her shop. She also teaches beginning, intermediate, and advanced witchcraft classes at a local college paid for by state funds. She gets paid well for giving lectures counseling, and casting so-called good spells for corporations. Many witches openly wear large pentagrams, the sign of Satan with pride. It is a bizarre statement for our society in general, and America in particular. According to Infomat, Incorporated, a direct marketing advertising agency with headquarters in Torrance, California, sales of occult-related items increased by 200% in 1980. Products monitored by Infomat include good luck charms, witchcraft books, fantasy games, and other occultic items. Infomat says that the American Astrological Association sold more than 40,000 customized horoscopes in each quarter of 1982 alone. A book called The Magic Power of Witchcraft sold almost 142,000 copies that year. Their report also indicated that more than 70% of occultic sales are to women. Some 30 million people are said to consult their horoscopes regularly, which are now carried by nearly every daily newspaper and by many magazines, including some highly respected women's magazines. However, there's good news. When we talk about the power of Satan, we should never minimize the power of God. Christ said that all power is given to me in heaven and on earth. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all nations. Go, said God to Moses, and my presence will go with you. There is power in the sacrificial blood of Christ. There is power in the gospel. And there is power in the spirit that lives within the temple of the believer. There is power to touch the evil of the witches, the warlocks, the Satanists, and all the rest. There is power that they fear and power which Christ gave us. Power that masters fear. Power that comes to us by the risen Christ. He is declared to be the Son of God with power by resurrection from the dead. When confronted with the power of God, Satan himself will flee. The scripture says, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Jesus said, behold, I give you power over the demons. They are in subjection to you in my name. No force in the universe is equal to the power of a Christian on his knees, trusting in the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus. The task is clear, and the power to do it is ours. The time to do it is now. At the judgment seat of Christ, we must all render an accounting of what we did for the kingdom of God. What will your response be? Think about it. Witches, warlocks, Satanists, 